Hi everyone, it's Sam from SiteMate. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clone a template. Um, there might be times where you have several templates which are quite similar, such as inspection test plans or checklists, um, or you might just want to create a project-specific variation of a template uh, that's different to what you would normally use because maybe the project requirements are different. Um, in either case, you probably don't want to start from scratch, so I'm going to show you how to clone a template from one team to another uh, in this video. Uh, so it's a little bit manual, but very easy to do. Um, in this case, we want to clone our site diary template. So we're going to click on this template. Um, and the first step is to open up the template builder. So we're going to click this button, edit template. It's going to show us all of the fields which have been set up already. Um, but we're going to look under the hood at, in terms of code, what this actually looks like. Uh, so we're going to look at this uh, sneaky little button down here that says show raw code. We're going to click that button and it's going to show us a bunch of text and a bunch of numbers. Um, we don't have to worry too much about what all of this says, um, but what we want to do is we want to select all of this and copy it. So I'm on a Mac, um, so I'm going to press Command A to select everything, but if you're on a, uh, a PC, you can press uh, Control A and it will select everything that's inside this box. Um, then what you're going to want to do is right click and click Copy so that we can copy all of this information to our clipboard. Um, now that we've got that information copied, we can exit the template builder and we're gonna to go to the team where we want to clone this template to. So in this case, it's team two in this particular project. We're going to go to the template section and now we're gonna create a new template. Um, so we're gonna click add new template. We're gonna create one from scratch so that it's blank when we get started. Uh, I'm gonna give it the same name as the other template. I'm going to give it an ID and a couple other details. And when we open the template builder, it's blank. Um, but if we click this show raw code button, um, we can see what's under the hood. And again, uh, there's not very much here because there's no fields in there. So what we want to do is we want to paste everything in, but it's very important that the first step we need to do is to remove all of the existing text. So I've just deleted all of that there and I'm going to right click and paste everything that we just copied from the other template. So you see we've got all of these letters and numbers in here. Now it's very important that you do not make any uh, adjustments in here, any typos or anything can throw it all off. So we wanna be very careful, we just wanna paste everything in and then we wanna click hide raw code and that's going to convert that back to all of the fields which uh, we're used to interacting with. Uh, from here, you know, everything is being copied across. Uh, you know, we can interact with the template, we can add new fields, we can uh, delete fields, we can rearrange them however we like. Whatever those project or team specific uh, changes are that we need to make, we can go ahead and make those. And once we're happy, we'll just click save. Um, and that template has essentially been copied across with, you know, a few changes here and there. Um, and that's pretty much how you can clone templates uh, in Dash Pivot. Um, just one note is that if you want to use the exact same template, and I mean identical, um, the, you want to use the same template on multiple projects or multiple teams, uh, we actually have a feature for this called the template library. So you're actually, instead of setting a template up inside of a team like we have today, what we want to do is we want to open up the sidebar and click SM Constructions. We want to go to Template Library and we want to set up our templates in here by clicking this Add New Template button. Um, once you've set it up, uh, it'll appear here. And then these templates are a bit special in that they have this deploy button. And if I click that deploy button, it's just gonna pull up a list of all of the projects and all of the teams uh, within our organization. And then we can just select which projects and which teams we wanna to deploy to. And that's just gonna save you a whole heap of time. You're not gonna to have to copy and paste, you know, a template from one team to another, to another, to another. Um, and the other benefit is that if we ever make a change, to any of these templates. Uh, as soon as we save the change, it's deployed out across all of the teams and all of the projects straight away. So we don't have to go into each team where that, where that template is and edit it. Uh, it's all managed from a single place. Uh, so I hope this video has been useful. Um, if you ever have any questions, feel free to reach us via the live chat. Um, but otherwise, thanks for watching.